Uh, we're here at Top Hat Magic Supply in Bristol, Tennessee, 28th Street. We're going to do a little bit of magic today with the help of Heather. Heather, we're going to show you a, a trick with some cards, okay? Um, now, the first thing I want to do is show you that this is a uh, kind of a normal way of spreading cards, but, you know, when you've got a close-up mat, it's much easier to do. If you want to count the cards, please do. Uh, there's 52 there. Just look and make sure that all of them are at least different. There's no duplicates anywhere. I've got the aces at the top for a special reason, Heather. And when you're done looking at those, let me know and we'll we'll show you why the aces are at the top. Is that it? Mm -hmm. Okay. We're going to try and experiment with the aces and some other cards that we're going to place down here as well. Everybody knows that the aces are the strongest cards in any deck. Everybody knows that. So we're going to try an experiment with some other cards that we're going to place down here like this. In this experiment, we're going to use some face up, some face down, some face up, some face down, and some face up. Now, out of the four aces, Heather, which is the strongest ace in the deck? Mm, the ace of spades? Yes, yes. You know, some women don't know that. So I always like to show them. These are the three small pips. That's the large one. So it's the strongest ace. Now we're going to try and experiment with the other cards we had down there as well. So when I place them back down, all I want you to do is point to any one of the aces. Just point to one. That one, I'll start with it. Take your right hand, flatten it out, and place it on top of these cards. And don't move. There you go. I'm going to do this real slow and deliberate because I know some of you have not seen this before. So, now Heather... You're watching close, but whatever happens, do not move that hand, all right? That's one. Let's try this one next. Watch this really close, because this is a, a little bit vanish of a different type. That's two, all right? The third one I'm going to make go visible for you. See these three cards? I'll place it in there face up. Is it the only card face up? Mm -hmm. One, two, three. All right. Watch closely. If you twist like that and count them, it looks like it turns face down. But it does more than turn face down. Now what I want you to do is slowly turn the cards over one at a time and lay them face up right across here, which have been under your hand the entire time. And that one's called McDonald's Aces. Mm -hmm. 